Hey, Naturally Curly World, I'm Nikki. And I'm Evelyn. And there's been a lot of talk about sunscreen lately. And how they don't make you ashy, or so they say. So what's your ash color? Are you like blue or purple? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm blue. I'm more of, I'm that ashen blue. I look like, you know, the girl sisters on Proud Family? Yeah. That's me. Are you purple? I've never seen purple ash. I'm a little purple. It's more of like a lavender color, <laughs> like a lilac. So we have a bunch of sunscreens that we're gonna try out for you. Some of them are lower and more affordable. Mm -hmm. Some of them, or you know, you got a pond, a kidney or two to afford. We're not beauty gurus, so we bought these. So the first sunscreen we're gonna try is the Banana Boat Sun Comfort mm -hmm. SPF 30. This is a chemical sunscreen. So what is it? Avobenzene, homosalate, and oxycontin. <laughs> So chemical sunscreens are like, they use chemicals, right? They break down over time and cause sun damage if you don't reapply them. This is not bad. You have to reapply every sunscreen, but you have to reapply chemical ones more often. Okay. I feel great, it, it does, it says it's lightweight, but I do feel like it's <sighs> I look on my like face. some chicken. But we're not ashy. So banana boat. Huh? On a scale from Invisible Shield, to Ashy Larry. <laughs> okay. I give that about a three. Okay. Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, also SPF 30. I don't even know if that's the recommended amount of sunscreen, but. I saw some like dermatologists be in the comments like, actually, we'll have like three tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's a little thicker. I do not feel like this is gonna be invisible. I'm not ashy, or am I? I don't feel like you're ashy. It goes on like it's gonna be ashy, but then it, it disappears. Yeah, I think it's whatever makes it dry touch. Yeah. I think this is the same as Banana Boat. It just has really? a different scent. I feel like this is this is Banana Boat. I wish sunscreen didn't make you look so greasy. I give it a four. Really? This one's called Kula. It's the mineral sunscreen in the scent cucumber. So mineral sunscreen means it's like um, zinc. Right? Yes, it is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. It's a physical sunscreen, so it provides a physical barrier to the sun. Mm -hmm. Kind of like putting mud on your face. Oh, it's very thick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at it. I'm already getting my lilac color. <laughs> I am already getting it. <laughs> the texture is like, it dissolves into powder. It's like a primer. Oh boy. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Oh wow. Good and dad. now it's like you have a, a <laughs> you have a mask. A, a mask <laughs> of sunscreen. It's it's ashy Larry. It's a zero out of five. Where do you get this though? Like this seems I like I got it's... this at uh Ulta. <laughs> Doesn't look like a ghost. <laughs> so up next we have another sunscreen by Kula. It is their classic sunscreen, unscented moisturizer, SPF 30. But this time instead of mineral, it's chemical. Ah. So maybe it'll be better. Mm. I'm liking it. Gotta get the neck, you know what I'm saying? Your face 30, but your neck 75. <laughs> okay, Ooh, I like this. It's a little, it's a little greasy. Shiny, but not at all ashy. I'm gonna give this a four, but it's made with certified organic ingredients. Oh, so. How you get, how you get organic avobenzene? Unsun, mm -hmm. it's a mineral tinted Broad spectrum face sunscreen, SPF 30 for all skin types. Mm, okay, whenever things say tinted, I'm like, it's not gonna work because you don't know my tint, so. This tint looks like it's my color, not yours. Let's just see. That is a strong beige. It looks like clay. This is very thick and it's beige. This is gonna look great already, <laughs> I can tell. You know it's not my color beige either. So, <laughs> this looks like a bentonite clay mask. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, y'all. <laughs> I'm feeling discouraged. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so thick. I don't know, like the amount of skin contact you gotta have to blend this in, this has gotta cause acne, right? No, no. So this gets a one and a half to two. Ashley Larry. A one. It gets a one for me. This gets a smooth path. On to the next one, Glossier, which is what's been making the rounds on Instagram. Oh, it's a gel. I feel like Glossier makes makeup for people who don't need makeup. Facts. Makeup for people with Ooh. perfect skin. I'm encouraged by this. It like smells it. like aloe or like rose or something. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's kind of like a serum, really. I feel like this, I feel regal. I give this a five out of five. I love it, I give it a five out of five too. Will you give it a five out of five knowing that it's like 30? I do not give it a five out of five knowing it's $35, my God, what? Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And it's like 65 hours. But you know, it says it treats, blurs, and protects. I better be able to fly into the sun. <laughs> For $65. Okay. Ooh, I like. This Ooh. is completely clear, whereas the Glossier um, sunscreen was kind of like. It has very like thick. a primer kind of feel to it. Oh. Oh. I really like. I don't want to like. Don't tell me I like this. <laughs> it's so good. This is amazing. We too broke to have um. these tastes. My face is 100% like not <laughs> not greasy. Give them shoulder. Give them shoulder. Remember the texture of this? How this mm -hmm. was like, whoa, it's like a primer. Yes. But it made us ashy. Yes. Like donut dust ash. And then this was like, ooh, the consistency is yeah. like, oh, it's clear. It's a gel. This is both of those positive qualities <laughs> in so one ish dollar container. 10 out of five. God, I give it a 10 out of five too. For performance. <laughs> 10 out of 5. This must be like what Beyonce feels like. Oh yeah. Well, Blue Ivy. Beyonce just has protection from the sun. The sun just goes The off. sun is like within her. So yeah. You can't protect <laughs> yourself yeah, from exactly. yourself. Right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. The difference between this and this, drastic. So to recap, my favorite uh, on the affordable side, as far as accessibility, I would give it to the Neutrogena. It is kind of greasy, but you can get it everywhere, grocery stores. My favorite high-end. Murad, 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 Murad. Being a rich woman, you know. Being a lavish, the lavish lifestyle that you live. Yes, a woman set aside. <laughs> um, this is it. This, this is amazing. We hope this was helpful and you could see which ones worked as far as Ash and which ones didn't. Uh, in the comments below, let us know what your favorite sunscreens are. We make videos every Friday, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.